Hi everyone, um, Christmas came a bit early for Jamboard users. Um, I'm really excited. It looks like we're going to be able to start adding our own images to the background of Jamboards so that we can lock in math problems or um, anything that we want students to annotate. So I'm going to try it here with you. So you're going to see firsthand how awesome this new feature is for Jamboard. So what I have here is a uh, Word document that I've opened here in my Google of a um, blank map that students would need to color. I would not have done this project on Jamboard before because it would have been terrible. They would have kept moving um, the map around and they never would have been able to label the tiny minutia. So I just took a screenshot and saved this to my desktop. And if I come over here to Jamboard, I can click out of this. When I click on background, you'll notice there is a brand new image option. The default is white. This is what you normally see. But now they have add your own picture and I'm going to upload from my desktop. This is wonderful. Here we go. Open. Here it is. It's loading. Yes. So I have my Chromebook open over here, so just like a student would be able to annotate this now, I've got my stylus so that I can be on my Chromebook and make some real precise, um, and I can zoom in, and I can go ahead and start labeling my states. There'll be a little bit of lag time before it shows up here. But the best part is that I can't move the picture. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. So you can now use your own screenshots and your own images to lock it in in the background of your Jamboard so that you can do even more activities without worrying about that extra stress of your template and your graphic organizer moving around. Let me know if you have any questions.